surpass next level. Es, el que eres un rey, soy el verdadero. Uh, uh, dale, mami, uh, pero te lo melo. Y yeah, yeah, ahora mismo vamos al cielo. Uh, uh, dímelo, yeah, dímelo tus sueños. Yeah, yeah, en la cama, uh, no quiero drama. No, no, qué calor, eres como una sana. Yeah, yeah, she like the sana, and she thinks just like a mama. Haters keep your distance, yeah, yeah, this ain't the streets Keep it clean but still discreet, uh, uh, a big deal, uh Somos como sumo, yeah, yeah, making moves But I'm here to prove myself to the nation I'm also here to take up the global community So, I just want to ask a couple questions So, brother, uh, my man, um, my man X I'm going ask you a question Yeah Does racism exist in America or is it just something that's made up? Ooh, that's a good ass question. Um, yeah, racism does exist in America. I think a lot of people are blind to it. I think a lot of people don't like to see it, but it's there though. How does racism affect you as a black man every day? So, me personally, I think racism as an African American slash Hispanic, um, it goes both ways, man. So it's like I get it from both sides. So. The way it can affect somebody is, you know, how you're looked at, you know, either from, you know, your own race, black, your own, your second race, Hispanic. Uh, it could be the way people treat you, the way people, you know, see you, the opportunities you get, whether it's in, you know, uh, the car industry, the housing industry, it, you know, just being around people, even in corporate retail worlds, you know what I'm saying? You got to work harder than some others, you know what I'm saying? Let's say if you have something predominantly um white you know you might have to work a little bit harder or something predominantly hispanic you might have to work a little harder so like that to kind of stand out so that's how i would say that that, that exists you know to me in corporate america because you, you you work in corporate america right yes sir how much harder do you feel you have to work than no, other people who... say that again how much harder do you think you have to work did other people in corporate America have a um, Hispanic and black man? Um, I think honestly, you you have to work, you know, two times harder because you have something to prove. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's more of like promotions. You know, the way people think, the way people view you. You know, depending on what city you're in. You know, like the city that I live in is predominantly Hispanic, Asian. Uh, white and like you know a small quarter black so you know you have to be able to stand out in order to get your name out there or just to have even some type of fighting chance you know the way that people the way the way the world is it doesn't matter if you're black it doesn't matter if you're hispanic it doesn't matter if you're white everybody no matter what nationality or race or ethnicity or gender is going to look at you differently you know what i'm saying they're gonna they're gonna view you a certain type of way so the obstacles that I have to go through is, you know, in my city, you know, everybody thinks like, oh, the black people here are hella hood. So we assume that you're just like them, but you're really not. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's literally really what it comes down to. Or they have that perception of, oh, you're from Stockton, you're, you're ghetto, you're hood, you do this, you do that. So, you know, that's kind of what we go through here. You know what I'm saying? It sucks, but that's just the truth, you know? And I'm pretty sure that that goes on for a lot of other people, too, as well, you know? Have you uh, faced more discrimination from black or, or whites or um, the Hispanic community? I've got it from everywhere, man, to be honest with you. I mean, growing up and going to school, you know, I was raised in a black and Hispanic household. So I just learned how to try to mingle with everybody to see both sides or, you know, see everybody's nationality. Some people like that, some people don't, you know? As a, being both Hispanic and black, who, who do you relate to more? Ooh, you know? Um, I relate to both, bro. I, re, I relate to both. Because it's, it's, it's a part of my heritage, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like I favor one over the other. I mean, at the end of the day, both of both nationalities do go through a lot of the same struggles that a lot of people don't want to admit in life, but they really do. It's just the problem is, is there's no unity and there's no accountability and people want to be blinded 
by what's really in front of them. They don't like to see or they don't like to hear certain things because they want to be looked at by another group as if they, they you know, they do no wrong. So, collect, when you look at the, uh, the poverty, when you, when you look at the dysfunction going on in our community, do you blame that on, do you say, hey, you know, black people just need to make some changes and if you get better, or is it a systematic situation going on? Um, I think it's a little, I think it's a little bit of both, my man, because I feel that as, as a unit, excuse me, I'm walk, kind of like walking into work right now, so it might be a little loud, give me a second. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, but yeah, no. Um, I feel that it is a little bit of both, man. It's a little bit more of, um, you know, African-American people as ourselves, we have no unity, you know, like we don't stand together on certain things. It's a lot of like, Hey, we got to, they're doing this, they're doing that. I'm like, okay, well we can do our own thing, you know? 